Okay, guys, for this video, I would like to share what is uh, NTC thermistor. So I have a few value uh, of NTC thermistor right here, uh, which is NTC 10D-13. And another one is NTC 100D-9. And this one is 103. So basically, all these are thermistor. And the thermistor is negative temperature coefficient thermistor. So in the short form, we call it NTC thermistor. Okay, the first thing is a thermistor is uh, just like a resistor. Here, here I have the resistor, which is red, red, yellow, uh, which means two hundred and twenty kilo ohm. So if resistor, if you measure the resistor ohm, you will get the value. Oh, here and you need to select two the ohms. So two hundred by right, this is two hundred twenty kilo ohm resistor. But here the display is two hundred and fifteen point one kilo ohm, which means this is plus and minus five percent. So this is the value is there. The value is correct. But the difference between this NTC uh, thermistor and the resistor. The resistor also come by the, the ohm but this resistor is the value is already fixed. This 220k resistor will always always be 220k resistor. The value will, will not change. If the value is changed, that means if the value is more than uh, 5%, let's say if this value is already decreased to 150 uh, which means the resistor is already out you cannot use this is the fixed value resistor but the difference the mister the thermistor is when the temperature is increased the ohm decrease so here i have this uh, i have right here 10 d that's 13 that means this is I'm going to put this right here. Then this, which means the value of the thermistor. So 10 ohm. And the beside here is 13. 13 is diameter, the size of this thermistor. So here, here going to be uh, 13 mm, 13 millimeter. And this is the ohm. So let's measure. Just look at multimeter here. So what I get is 6.2 ohm. 6.2 ohm, uh, which means this is uh, plus minus 10%. So, uh, okay. Okay, 6.2 ohm. So the difference between this thermistor ohm and the resistor is the resistor is going to be Resistor going to be always the value will not change, but the mister is when the environment is hot That this the ohm let's say now this is 10 ohm so when the environment is hot If you give the hot here and This ohm will be decreased So okay, I just put right here so now I get is you cannot use your both hand to touch like this. If you touch like this, the value will be uh, much different. So you just can you can hold with your finger one side, but the other side you must not hold with your hand. So by right, this is a ten ohm, and plus minus ten percent maybe is uh, around six or seven. Then if you apply the it here you don't burn out you just give environment hot so make it hot so basically the big size going to be uh, the heat will be much more resistant <coughs> so now we measure 
So we just get only 2 ohm, 2.6 ohm. So by right, this have to be plus minus 10% ten, uh, 10 value. So at least 6 ohm or 7 ohm. But now what we get is just only 3 ohm. Okay, now the temperature is increased. Sorry, the ohm is already increased bad because the mister is getting cold. I will just put on the side. And here, the other one is same. But the value is different. 100D-9, which means 100 is the ohm. 100 ohm and 9mm. So the size is smaller. So we're going to measure the value. What we get here is okay, 122. Okay, this is got a plus minus. So the value is here. And if the environment is hot, if we apply the heat to this thermistor, and this ohm will be decreased. So this is the difference uh, between the resistor and thermistor. I'm going to explain uh, in the next video a PTC. Uh, positive thermistor coefficient but now we focus on ne NTC negative temperature coefficient thermistor so 122 ohm and if I apply the heat to this thermistor Just make it heat it up. Okay, we make sure. So now how much of the value we get is 25 ohm, 26, 27. The ohm is decreased, but now the ohm already increased back increase again because thermistor is getting cold so the function of this thermistor is when you apply to your circuit board and your circuit board is getting hot and this thermistor will be the value decrease and your uh, cooler which means like the fan uh, your your fan in the PC the built-in fan will be running uh, to make it cool down the bot and your circuit board will be protected so when the fully cooled your circuit board and the fan will be slowed down and the fan will be stopped again so this is to protect the circuit board from the getting hot uh, they use in that purpose So, so thermistor is basically the use for to protect the circuit board from overheat. And here I have just uh, draw the, the circuit board for the sample. Okay. This is from the DC power positive, go through to the thermistor, and thermistor to the fan here, and come back to the and the battery negative. So the more heat environment. The more heat in the environment, then the fan speed will be more faster to get cool for the whole circuit board. This is they use the purpose for NTC thermistor. Uh, sorry, by the way, here I forgot it. So this is 103. 103, which means 10K. Basically, in all this code, is one, 103 is 10 is, okay, this is come back to 1. And 0 is made to 0 here and 10 is basically the multiplier 0 3 times so which means 1 2 3 4 5 so which means this is 10k so 10,000 so we call it this the mr. 103 is equal to 10 kilo ohm so the value gonna be 10 kilo ohm so let's measure here 
uh, we get 9.08 kilo ohm. So this is plus minus. So for this sample, I'm going to use 100 D test 9, and I'm going to use and the fan instead of the fan, I'm going to use the motor here. So here I have a DC power supply, and the negative comes to direct comes to the motor one side, and the positive side. I'm just going to try it. Let me show you. Okay. And the other side is positive. So I'm going to hold like this here and just for to show the sample. So in the normal situation, I power on. Okay, now this is the normal condition. The motor is very slow. The fan is very slow. I don't have the fan, so I just use the DC motor. And I'm using here the thermistor. So if the thermistor is getting hit, and the ohm, because here is 100D-9, which means 100 ohm resistance. So if uh, I apply the heat here, the ohm will be decreased and this fan will be more faster. So let's try. You observe it. So the motor is much more fast and fast getting fast because of the ohm is already decreased. So you observe it. When the thermistor is cooled down and the fan will be slowed down. So now the fan the motor is already slowed down because of the thermistor is already uh, cooled down then ohm is already increased back. So this is how the thermistor works. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching guys.